Jennifer Patterson from Sedona North Healing Arts. Today we're shooting our next episode of Eating For Your Genes. And today I wanted to talk about protein. So protein is something that we can test for in the Nutrigenomics Report. And there's a gene called our FTO gene. So protein is an essential nutrient that's really important for muscle building, wound healing, immune function, as well as supporting um, healthy muscles and bones. So we can actually test with the FTO gene of if you are at risk of overweight or obesity, we can tell by your genes if a moderate to higher protein diet would be beneficial for you for weight loss and weight maintenance because this is very individualized. As I always say, nutrition is not a one size fits all approach. So one question that I often get from my clients is, what can I have for a higher protein snack if a higher protein diet is right for you? So one suggestion I have is doing these quick little energy bites. And there's so many different variations we can do with this. So this one, I'm just using some quick oats as well as some uh, peanut butter, but you could also use an almond butter, um, or you could also use like a pea butter if you wanted to make it nut free. I've got some honey here. Um, today I'm going to use some craisins in this recipe, but you could also use um, finely chopped dried apricots or raisins. I'm also going to use some pumpkin seeds, which are an excellent source of vitamin E, but you could also use sunflower seeds or chia seeds, hemp seeds or flax seeds. So whatever, honestly, whatever you choose or whatever your nutrition goals are, the chia seeds, the hemp seeds, the flax seeds, they would all give you sources of alpha linolenic acid or omega-3 fatty acids that are also supportive for good health. Um, so whatever you choose. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add in one cup of quick oats. If you wanted more of a nutty texture, you could do something like a um, steel cut oat if you like that texture. And then I'm going to add in here one third of a cup of smooth peanut butter. Okay. And then I'm adding in uh, two to three tablespoons of honey. So again, depending on the consistency that you want, you may want to add a little bit less or a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to add in three tablespoons of my dried cranberries. And I'm going to add in two tablespoons of my pumpkin seeds and then I'm just going to mix that together and you want to mix it until it's really well blended and then we're just going to roll into little bites little bite little bite balls so um, about usually about two of these would be equivalent to um, one serving you could also if you wanted um, a coconut taste you could also add coconut for a little bit of a different texture and taste as well so if you'd like any more nutrition information or if you'd like to try the Nutrigenomics Report, just give us a shout at sedonanorth.ca. Thanks for joining us.